little Disney nerd back there. Now, some of you might already be noticed there's a giraffe right up ahead here. I'm gonna talk about them in just a moment. First one I'll talk about is the ones right here to our right, these spring box. This is kind of cool because they're usually not this close to our trucks. Now, spring box, these are in the top 10 of the fastest animals on the planet. They have a top speed of about 55 miles per hour. They get their name to spring box. They're able to spring themselves up into the air. They're gonna jump up to about six feet high. Also up to 14 feet across with their speed going as well. One of the only animals on the planet is capable of jumping like that. You know what though, we can see these giraffes. I'm gonna start telling you a little bit about them. The reason we can see even the giraffes that are all the way over there at the other end of savannas, because they are the tallest animals in the world. We jump to about 18 to 20 feet at the max height. Even as a baby too, but the moment a giraffe is born, they're already gonna be six feet tall. And they are 18 to 20 feet in less than a year. They go really quick. Here's one of my favorite facts about giraffe. They only sleep for one hour a day. That's enough for them. A giraffe will get about as much sleep as an average college student does. <laughs> they don't like do that hour in one stretch. They're gonna split it up into about 15, 20-ish minute naps. Hard to tell when they sleep or not too. Kind of like a horse, a giraffe can actually sleep standing up. Ooh, we're moving on here though. I see in that back left corner, right by where the bamboo is, we got some African painted dogs laying down over there. There's also a few right to the left of that big tree that's there. The African painted dogs there are some of the most effective hunters on the planet with up to an 80 to 90 percent success rate. Now the reason those numbers get so high is because they have incredible teamwork skills. They're always working together. Never seen one of them hunting alone. Team up kind of like the U.S. soccer team. The uh, difference is that the U.S. soccer team does not have an 80 to 90 percent success rate, unfortunately. Here we go, also to our left though. Speaking of really good hunting, we got some sable antelope over there. You know, they say good hunting, but it's actually more of a defense that they use those horns going backwards for. There's those folding back horns to keep predators from jumping onto their backs. Swing their heads back at them. Sable and I do have an incredible fighting spirit though. They don't ever back down from their face, no matter how much bigger their predators get. Next thing I'll point out here, if you look around us, we got these big red rocks that are sticking up from the ground around you. These are termite mounds. Now heads up, this one's a little bit gross. These things are actually made out of the mucus, the saliva, and the poop of all these termite colonies. When they get out in the hot sun all day, they'll start to get as hard as a rock. We're going to catch the animals here quite frequently using them as scratchy posts. That's a really weird personal hygiene choice there. Definitely wouldn't do that one yourself. I guess you do your dress. Now look at this though, we're getting really close to these giraffes, this is awesome. Uh, by looking at the patterns on their coats, they have a little bit of a rough and ragged pattern here. Also, well, these are all my side giraffes. That one was stepping in the road, it's called a giraffic jam. But even though all the giraffes around us here are my side giraffe though, there are tons and tons of different types of giraffes that are around the world. If you do want to see another type of giraffe while you're here in the park, head over to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Articulated giraffe are. See if you can spot the difference on their coats. I also see another new animal here, Joy Wright, to talk about as well. Could be all these great animals scattered around the span of there. These are wildebeest. Now it looks like there's quite a few of them out today, but this is actually nowhere near how many wildebeest you can find in just one place. Wildebeest are very, very social. They're some of the largest herd sizes on the planet. Every year it's an event. We call it the Great Migration. You see up to about a million and a half wildebeest there. Get this, there's even so many that you can view them from all the way up in outer space, which is kind of awesome. Now, the wildebeest are the animals from the really sad scene in the Lion King. If you know, you know, we're gonna let you watch that one for yourselves. We also have an eland there to our right, so that's the one with those spiraling horns going backwards a little bit. A little hard to tell from the track again, but it's that's some of the largest antelope in the world, which is up to about six feet tall at the shoulder. Hard for us to tell too where the next to the picture at. Now, if you only have that big part coming down from their neck, so it looks like an Adam's apple. Another thing's called a dewlap. Wildebeest actually have those too. And they use those to regulate the temperature. So it's keep it up nice and cool during those hot days like today. Also warm during the cool days. Honestly, it sounds like a really nice thing to have during the summers over here. All right, y'all, we're going to be moving on now to the second half of the savannah. I'm seeing too, some of the trees from up ahead. I mean, not right over. That is a sign there might be some elephants around us now. Elephants knock down the trees, they grab their food from them like the giraffe do. They just don't have their height, so they have to knock them down so they can reach. Also though, they're sometimes just doing it for fun. Imagine being as large as an elephant. It sounds like it would be a lot of fun knocking down trees. Now, you didn't hear me say that though, save the trees. 
I believe I did just see an elephant. It's going to be here on our right in just a moment. It's right behind these trees. There it is. Oh, that's a really good view we spot for us. I'm going to take you to our next viewing angle. If we're talking about the elephants, they look on our left. Right to the left of these trees, it's the mantrel over there. Like our pinky from the Lion King. Imagine they have that beautiful blue and red coloration on their faces. And that's where they get bright whenever they're nervous or excited. So they got some flesh. That's also the largest species of monkey in the world. I think it was a pretty big boy. All right, here we go. Here's that good elephant view that I was telling you about here on our right. Now, this is an African elephant. We can tell that by checking out its ears. African elephants grow larger ears than the Asian elephants do. Really bizarre if there's an Asian elephant here as well. We're looking up on its back there, just like how I saw that rhino at the beginning of our safari. It also has a little bit of dirt up on its back. Elephants have that same sort of sensitive skin that they do. 